Hello my friend, hope you're doing well today. In this video we're going to talk about letting go, the pathway of surrender and how this practice can change your life. Letting go was first introduced to me when I had an anxiety disorder um, which came seemingly out of nowhere to some extent. And I woke up one morning with intense anxiety, panic attacks, dread and a sense of impending doom and I really didn't um, understand what was happening with me and then I pretty much had an anxiety disorder and at first I was fighting this anxiety and resisting, obsessing about it, researching it and constantly googling what is going on, am I going insane, am I going crazy and just making it worse, just basically resisting it and as Carl Jung says, what you resist persists, right? So by fighting the anxiety, by obsessing about it, you're actually making it worse my friend, you know? So. That's why acceptance, surrender, letting go is absolutely critical in um, yeah, transcending limited states of being, negative emotions, limiting beliefs, etc. These can all be transcended by practicing surrender, acceptance, letting go. And it just means um, welcoming these um, experiences, I'll call them or invitations and just allowing them to be there and to not fight them, to just surrender to it, to just give up the fight, you know? Can you stop fighting your feelings and thoughts? Can you stop adding resistance to them or judging them and instead just neutrally observe them? This is the key to healing um, those emotions and thoughts. You know, there's one aspect of letting go or acceptance um, or one modality of letting go or acceptance and it's called the Sedona method for example and it involves asking four questions what is my now feeling then you kind of sink into the feeling could I let it go yes or no just simply answering not taking not over mentally analyzing just simply answering yes or no, could I let it go? Would I let it go? When? And in doing that, you can keep asking yourself that question. That is the Sedona method. Um, but I just prefer just simply letting go. It becomes second nature eventually where you don't even have to practice it consciously. You just kind of, you just accept what is, right? And that doesn't mean it necessarily feels amazing or whatever. There's just an awareness of it, an actual awareness of it. You know, maybe you get triggered, maybe something your parents or partner does to you really pisses you off. Then you're like, oh, you kind of just accept it, you know. What's the point in fighting it? It's futile. Um, you're just fighting yourself when you do that. So the key is to just practice acceptance, letting go, surrender. And as you do this, you will feel increasingly free. And you will discover that the kingdom of heaven is within, as Jesus said, with I and the Father are one. The Father being universal consciousness, you see, these suppressed emotions and thoughts, they basically obscure our true nature which is infinite awareness um, and because we have all this thought and emotional activity we don't actually experience our true nature um, yes that's why Jesus says for example be still and know that I am God it just means like when you are still and basically you don't have any thoughts and emotions they have temporarily subsided. You know that you are God, that the I am is God, that you are awareness, you know, I am that I am, basically. So, you know, we, we kind of confuse this I am sense with desire. We desire something, and then when we fulfill that desire, temporarily that desire ceases, we appear to be free from desire because we have fulfilled that desire and temporarily 
our thoughts subside and then we experience peace right and we associate that not to our inner state of awareness but rather to the object of that desire externally but you can see that that's never lasts right we fulfill a desire we temporarily feel good and then a new desire comes so we're constantly chasing desire fulfillment happiness externally when it's always there it's actually just us experiencing awareness but confusing that for the external world and desire and so the key is to like realize that within you know kingdom of heaven is within basically and letting go acceptance is a great step in that direction because we're basically doing the opposite we're resisting we're fighting we're researching we're obsessing we're constantly trying to fix the external world instead of accepting it you know so um, I hope you like this video about letting go you can also watch this other video about letting go and I generally have lots of videos on letting go and if you like this video you can also download my free morning ritual cheat sheet in the comment section below and I'll see you in the next one peace and much love